So it looks like there's some drama with DDG and Chris Sales, and it looks like Chris cannot take it. Let's get into it straight after this intro. Ah! My pe told me last night that he was queen. I will be the step. Yeah. Please wash me. I'm so musty and Look, smelly. I'll give you a bath later, Tim Tam. Ask me all the time to take a bath. It's been five days, okay? I washed you five days ago with a lot of soap, okay? Could you just cut me a break? Please! Oh my god, I got it. I'm getting itchy! I'll give you a wash if you say you smash queen. Laugh in the fast lane, we play our cards Praying we'll find out just who we are Bitch, I've been the king of What up, everyone? It's your boy, Martin Lewis! It's your boy, Martin Lewis! Martin Lewis! Boy, Martin Lewis! What up everyone, it's your boy Martin Lewis Team Real, welcome to my channel where I call out fake ass And talk about YouTube drama As recently, Chris has been getting into a lot of drama with people y'all Everyone hating him, your mama hate him, your daddy hate him Jesus hates him, okay? He played a smash and pass game and DDG decided to cry like a little girl about it. So today we're going to go through all of that. I'm going to give you my opinion. So if you guys are new to this channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button with the bell. So don't miss out on any of the future drama regarding these guys. Smash that like button. And if you guys have any story or leads, all my social media links are in the description below. So let's get straight into the drama. So the drama all started when Chris uploaded a video called Smash or Pass YouTube Edition Did I Pass or Smash Queen? Cause you know he ain't doing good without putting Queen in the title. And he had a 10 year old play Smash and Pass with him. Can he even get it up? Oh, they be in your booty? Yeah. What the hell? You probably can't even reach that booty. I be in them guts every day. Look at every day. <laughs> no. Well, I First of all, I seen Chris's pin pin, and I don't think he can go into anyone's uh, guts with that. Good luck with that. Good luck going into somebody's guts with that little crooked thing. It looked like a quarter burn sausage. You could go fishing with it. Okay? This was me when I saw it. Like if you want to turn straight, just look at Chris's D pick. Automatically turn straight, you're straight for life. Okay. Up. They end up smashing DDG's girlfriend. For you guys who have no idea who she is, her name is Kennedy Simone. <laughs> According to Famous Birthday, she's 19 years old, she's a Sagittarius, apparently she's a beauty and lifestyle guru, apparently she's a partner with Sty Hall, but most people know her as, you know, DDG's girlfriend, and apparently they're engaged. Congratulations. Kennedy. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to put that to work. I'm gonna have to, Kennedy, yeah, she can get it. I'm gonna have to smash that. I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna have to smash that. What? Tag team. Tag hey! team! I'm gonna have. Oh, yes. I'm gonna have. We're gonna For have sure. a tag team. For sure. We'll come out there to Cali later. Wherever she I don't even know what a girl is. Yeah, she I Cali? Um, I think so. Obviously, they're joking around tag team, but you know, it's just, you know, it's kind of inappropriate. It's some weird shit. There was this one time my brother, he bought me a plastic for JJ. And I broke it. But I was like 14. I think he was trying to make me straight, so he bought me a plastic for JJ, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, I guess I fed the shit out of it and I broke it. I don't know how old he is, like five, eight, probably ten. Talking about tag teaming uh, on YouTube, uh, no. Anyway, DDG heard about this and he got pissed, y'all. 
That N is a P in person. He can have his fun on his video. That's one miserable man, Law Facts. I'm talking about you, Chris Sells and I gotta stop beefing with no names. No more talking. Keep the same energy. <laughs> I'll be at VidCon. We can meet. Bring your broke ass Detroit homies too. But this is the thing, and this is why DDG is a hypocrite. He's done the same thing to Chris. He smashed Queen in a video. You know what, Queen? I love your accent for some reason. Uh, Let me go. Shit. All right, go ahead. I want to talk to Go you. ahead, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> All right, man. Let me hold that thought then. All right, All right. hold it. Um, Queen, I have watched your videos. Um, Chris, shout out to Detroit. Michigan, back in the crib, man. We doing it big out here. You feel me? That nigga from Michigan? Nigga from Detroit. That's how we out here doing it. Unfortunately, Queen made the list. You yeah. introduced Queen to the YouTube community. Which means that she was introduced to my Meaning, she made the list. Therefore, I am a very human. Oh, I stuttered. Yeah, you did. But I am a very human being. Mm -hmm. With that being said, my people told me last night that he was queen. I will be the step. Yeah. Please wash me. I'm so musty and Look, smelly. I'll give you a bath later, Tim Tam. But you said you were going to give me a bath. Please, I'm really stinky. Ask me all the time to take a bath. It's been five days. Okay, I washed you five days ago with a lot of soap. Okay, could you just cut me a break? Please! Oh my god, I'm getting itchy. I'll give you a wash if you say you smash queen. Uh, okay. Oh my god, she's so ugly. She looks like Martin Lewis. Don't say that about her. Come on, just smash her. Okay, I'll smash him just for you. I will be the stepfather. Yeah. Listen, I had a long, deep conversation with Aqua Nigga Jr. last night. Right? He asked me if we could go deep inside of, of Queen. <laughs> Listen, I love to please my. So I gotta do what he says. Why don't you do what I say? I tell you to do things and you don't do it. Look, chocolate stick. You know I can't just go do that, okay? You say you're going DDG's and you haven't done that yet. I can't just do that to him, okay? Because he's my friend. If I do that to him, then we won't be able to make YouTube videos no more. You never please me. And with that being said, <laughs> you don't want to be mad, nigga. I don't want my Get mad, you bro. never make, make me happy. happy. I gotta make that nigga happy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I treat my ass like I treat my nigga. Ah, oh, that's, that's kind of gay. All right, I'm out. <laughs> See, how can you be mad and act like a little bitch on Twitter when you did the same thing to him? Anyway, you know how Chris, the scammer, is. You know he like to act like he's all talking ish. He ends up going on Instagram story posting. Gr, beat your ass, person. That's what my son. What you talking about? me how many times the person and you ain't say you better sit your soft ass down somewhere little nigga lame ass look even though ddg is in the wrong i'm not gonna lie i would love to see ddg whoop the f out of chris you know chris is just one of those people everyone hates him and i'm in the city nigga. what's up and where you from so lame ass from, you're not even from in. detroit nigga. as usual chris has little minions in the background he's little that like to defend him all the time, talk shit. Pontiac with your lame bitch. ass. Yeah. Go back to Pontiac Trills, bitch. What you say, cuz Nigga, fuck you, bitch ass. I take your bitch out, fuck your bitch, Kennedy. Put this nigga away in her mouth. <laughs> yeah, you already know. Like I told the last scrap, he ain't want to scrap. So, you know what I'm saying? What's up? You ain't even get paid for it. You meet me in a boxing ring, you hoe ass. Or we don't gotta do the boxing ring. We can do it in the streets. 
It's up to you. So he basically challenged DDG to a boxing ring and y'all get some money out of it. Of course, Chris really needs it. So seriously, though, can you imagine Chris in a boxing ring? <laughs> anyway, DDG end up tweeting more saying, I'm finna embarrass this and tell these people I does this shit. He end up quoting uh, a picture of Chris's friend who was in the big. God damn. He's so ugly. God, take your bitch out from your bitch, Kennedy, put this go in her mouth. <laughs> Now it looks like, I think D.U.B., I could be wrong, I believe this is uh, D.D.G.'s older brother. Let me know in the comment section below, I'm not too sure. D.D.G. ended up quoting that saying, these ends are lame. It's so funny, it's like Chris has no more friends, he had to go back to Detroit and f*** with his old friends again. <laughs> Anyway, D.U.B., who is D.D.G.'s older brother, end up uploading a video saying... Bro, you have 2 million subscribers on YouTube. You average 100,000 views. 100,000. You making, what, 5,000 a month off YouTube? Yeah, that's all you making off YouTube. You making about 5 bands a month? You barely getting back. Barely. Barely. You begging. 5000 isn't bad. A lot of people would kill for $5,000 a month. Chris's situation though, you know, since he's trying to get money off Queen, yeah, he kind of need more than that to pay for his lifestyle that he has. Queen, oh, you got to help pay the rent because your, uh, your name's still on lease. Bro, you going broke. Nobody's checking for you. Hopefully he goes to VidCon, VidCon, because I'm going, and I don't want my little brother in that mess. But I want all the smoke with y'all. I personally think he's overreacting. I kind of understand it's his brother. He wants to have his brother's back. But Chris just offered him to go in the boxing ring. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, this is what I don't understand. You know how you go on Twitter, and you know... The people on Twitter have their own comments, you know, their own opinion. And everybody is clearly on my side. Now, the only reason why everyone's on your side is because most everyone pretty much hates Chris. He's a scammer. He's nasty. He's a slut. Everyone hates Chris. And everyone would love to see Chris get his ass beat. You do not disrespect no one's girl like that, period. You know what I'm saying? My <laughs> told me last night. That he was queen. Saying that, if you know she in a relationship, why is he on there with a little dirty ass little boy who ain't got ten dollars? His mama ain't got ten dollars. Daddy ain't got ten dollars. Why is he on the internet with them disrespecting another girl like that? Disrespect a girl like that. Nigga, you have a mom. What if I said, matter of fact, I would have run your mama. Smash. I'm smashing. Yeah, she gonna get the smash. Yep, she's smashing. Yeah, she get the smash. Catch that. That's really sweet. I'm gonna smash Kelly. You gonna smash Kelly? Okay. Yeah, I'm smashing. You smashing? <laughs> <laughs> I wanna tag team, do everything you was talking about with Kenny. I wanna do that with Cho Mama. Bro, I'm gonna smack you when I see you. Remember me, bro. Remember me. Look at this face. I'm gonna smack you when I see you. Disrespect my little brother, bro. And then when I. Whoever them other two niggas come to fear come, I'm slapping you. I'm slapping anybody who ever been in your videos and they come, I'm slapping them. My God, run queen, run. I guess VidCon is gonna be drama con, man. There's gonna be a lot of drama there, especially towards Chris. Hey, Chris end up uploading the video and saying, whatever you wanna put, we gonna put in there. Now, we all know the Smash Pass is for entertainment purposes only. We all know that. We know I never DM no, can't no YouTubers have ever DM their girl, try to talk to their girl. Or they was dating or whatever. I really, I can't help but to think that Chris will probably, you know, try to hit it. They'll probably be at a party and he'll probably flop his pee pee out like a, cause it look like a fishing hook and he'll be like this. Can I catch you? How you gonna say I'm a lame? You never hung out with me in flesh. You can't call nobody lame unless you hang out with them in person. Like what? That's like me calling you a lame. Never, I never. You've done the same shit to other people. You called. YouTube it. Okay. Jay Joe is ugly. I don't even mess with them little ugly faggots. Wow, they just called Jay and Joe ugly. Mm. What do you they, know they are? You called some random stranger a little f And now you want to play this little victim. How can you call me lame? Like, shut up. Really just don't understand how can think that they can do something. And then when I do it, it's a problem. So many other YouTubers did the smash or pass. Why he ain't go for them? 
Is it, is it just because of, it, 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 it's me that did it? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you got, I gotta feel sorry for him in a way because it's kind of true. Like, damn, they ain't really coming for him. He then talks about going to VidCon. Go stuff like that. But if I do decide to go, I'm gonna go too deep. Like, it's gonna be too many of my people, family, friends. It's gonna be too many of us, bro. I'm telling you. I'm gonna have security. And I just feel like it's gonna be a waste of time because, nigga, if, if you do want to have an altercation, we not gonna be able to touch each other. And it's not wise to wanna fight at VidCon first and foremost. You know what I'm saying? If you wanna do a boxing match, we can set that up. We can do whatever. We can actually get paid for it, nigga. You know what I'm saying? The whole conclusion to this is that DDG is a little bitch, man. He was complaining when he did the same thing to Chris. Saying that, I'm not gonna lie. If they were in a boxing match, I hope DDG wins, you know? Or both of them knock each other out. I think that would be great. They both lose. Anyway, guys, I know I'm your guilty pleasure, so make sure to hit that subscribe button with the bell because if you don't, Chris is going to smash you and then you're gonna get something. So you better hit that subscribe button. Smash that like button and I'll see you guys in another drama video.